I'm lazy. I'm shy. I'm unsociable. I'm unactive. I'm annoying. I'm this and that, whatever. Okay, whatever these beliefs may be, they've either come from the outside or they've either come from the inside. Regardless of that, if you want to achieve your dream life, you need to get over them, okay? First of all, what are they, okay? They're exactly what they sound like. Limiting beliefs are beliefs that you hold within yourself that prevent you and block you from doing what you want to do in life. It prevents you from living your dream life. And we all have these beliefs, okay? So for example, it could be, oh, you know, I'm shy. I don't do that. I'm not that type of person. If you want to achieve your dream life, you need to get over them, okay? Because does someone that lives your dream life really have these beliefs within themselves? Probably not, okay? You know, if your dream life is to become a business owner, become a CEO, you know, do they have the belief that they're a shy person? Does the CEO have the belief that they're a lazy person? Of course not. They're a CEO, man. How would they have the belief that, oh, I'm lazy. I just don't do like CEO stuff, you know, like shut up. That's not how it works. So if you want to live your dream life, how do we get over these limiting beliefs? Because clearly they're stopping us from living our dream lives, right? Well, it's a really, really simple process, right? You just have to prove yourself wrong, obviously, okay? So it's way easier said than done. And literally, that's it. You just have to prove yourself wrong and cultivate evidence for yourself to reinforce a new identity within yourself, okay? And that's basically how you do it. But it's 10 times easier said than done, okay? No one said that getting over limiting beliefs is easy, okay? Because there's this little thing in which I like to call internal resistance, okay? You have this limiting belief. Every time you try and get over this limiting belief or you try to do something that counters this belief, right? You try to take an action that counters your I'm lazy belief, okay? You're gonna have internal resistance. You don't wanna do the thing that's new to you, okay? When you really try to take an action that goes against your limiting beliefs, right? Your mind is going to tell you a hundred million different excuses in order for you to not take that action, okay? Because your mind wants to stay consistent with the identity that it has for itself, right? Our mind doesn't like discomfort. Our mind has evolved to seek comfort. We haven't evolved to thrive. We've evolved to survive. And now we're putting ourselves where we don't have to survive anymore and we can thrive now, right? Our mind has not caught up to this new environment of us being able to thrive, okay? So when we try to change our belief and identity, you know, it's gonna go literally haywire, okay? So you make sure you take it slowly. When trying to change your limiting beliefs, it's no easy feat. Sometimes if it's small, it can take a couple weeks, but if it's big, you know, it can take a couple of years, okay? This is not an easy thing at all, okay? Because your mind really hates discomfort. It hates doing things that's outside of its comfort zone and outside its identity that it's created for itself. I'm sure you get the idea by now. Okay, limiting belief is a belief that you hold within yourself that prevents you from taking the action that you want in order to achieve your dream life. The more fossilized the belief or identity that you have within yourself, the harder it is to overcome it. And in order to change this limiting belief, all you need to do is prove yourself wrong. Okay, so back to proving ourselves wrong, how do we actually go about doing it? Because clearly our brain hates doing things that are misaligned with our identity. So how do we do things? How do we take action? that is unaligned with our identity. First of all, you need to understand where this belief is coming from, okay? You can't start and go about solving a problem if you don't even understand what this problem is, or where it came from, or how it popped up out of in your life. First of all, you need to understand the problem, okay? Where is this limiting belief coming from? Could it be stemming from childhood, significant experience, or something like that? How is having this limiting belief preventing me from achieving my dream life and how is it going to change my life if I stick with this belief in five years and if I don't stick with this belief how would it change my life okay how would you need to act and identify with yourself if you want to change this belief okay so let's start off with an example okay I've been told that I was shy ever since I was young okay so how did I get over this belief how did I get over the fact you know that I'm shy and I'm antisocial and you know I don't talk to people how do I get over that so first of all I needed to identify you know I actually had this belief and it was actually causing a problem in my life. I realized that I wasn't achieving anything because I never actually went out and talked to people. I never actually put myself out there. But over a couple of weeks and over the years, I really just realized that I had this belief within myself that, you know, I'm not a talkative person, I'm not social, you know, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't, you know, whatever. And then that's when I started like, oh, you know, this is bad. I need to change this. I need to 
Like, if I want to achieve my dream life, I cannot have this belief within me, okay? So now what did I do, okay? And this is the hardest part, is actually taking action that goes against your identity, okay? And it's also really hard to give advice upon this because it's very specific to your limiting belief and to how much internal resistance you have within yourself. You know, how ingrained is this belief within you? How tied up are you with this identity? You know, is it really strong connection with this identity that you're a shy person, you know, you don't do that type of thing? You know, or is it like a loser identity, you know, where you can like, you know, I'm a shy person, you know, but it wouldn't hurt if I just, you know, go out and talk to people once in a while, right? So it really is case dependent. And that's why I really encourage you to, first of all, understand, you know, that you have this belief and that you have to have the drive to actually get over this belief and actually overcome it and actually change yourself. Because if you don't have the drive and willingness to change yourself, if you don't think that is a problem in the first place, then you're actually not gonna solve this problem, okay? You're not actually gonna get over this limiting belief because you wouldn't have enough drive. You wouldn't have enough what they call motivation to get over this limiting belief, okay? Because you don't actually want to change it, you know? You think you're fine as you are, right? And if you think you're fine as you are, you know, go ahead and do whatever you want. But you know, if you think that you're not fine and you feel that deep down, you know, that there's untapped potential, you know, that there's something blocking you from getting to your dreams, then you need to realize that something needs to change. And that something is probably your limiting beliefs, you know, because there's a reason why you can't take action upon your goals. There's a reason why you can't just go and talk to that person. There's a reason why you just cannot just be active, right? It's because of all this internal resistance that's been balled up inside of you. And until you understand that there is this internal resistance, and until you understand the fact that there is this limiting belief within you, then you're not going to overcome it. You're not going to get your goals. And if you don't want to change that, then so be it, okay? But if you do, then listen to this now. Because you need to have the motivation to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. You have to have the willingness to change. So I can really only give you a little bit of a framework on how you can go about taking action upon these things that are really hard to take action upon, right? So let's go back to my example with how I overcame being a shy person, right? First off, I did understand the fact that it was a belief that I wanted to change. And then I'm like, okay, you know, how do I go about changing this belief, you know? Well, obviously I had to go out and talk to people, right? But at first instance, that's probably the hardest thing I could do because I'm like, me talking to people? No, <laughs> right? That was literally me, right? So I really had to make sure I started slowly, right? So step one of this is to start slowly. First off, you know, I started making eye contact with that person. And then I started to make conversation with maybe a stranger that I happened to talk to, like the barista at Starbucks or, you know, like person next to me or whatever, you know? And then you just kind of build it up from there, you know? If you feel like, oh, you know, I want to talk to that person, you can just go up and talk to them after a while, okay? You have to build yourself up to this goal of overcoming your limiting belief, okay? Because you cannot change your limiting beliefs instantly, you know? I really wish we could do that, you know? If we could change your limiting beliefs instantly, you know, we could be on top of the world and everything. But unfortunately, we can't. By building up slowly, you're going to start to give yourself proof, you know? And then you have to really tell yourself, like, Oh, you know, I'm starting to become a social person, you know? You know, every time you talk to the barista or you talk to the person next to you or whatever, you need to reinforce this action that you've taken with the identity that you need in order to get over this limiting belief, right? Every time I make eye contact with that person, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm a sociable person. I am such a sociable person, right? And then you keep doing that, okay? Every time you take an action, reinforce it with the identity, you know? Every time you go to the gym, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm such a gym bro now, you know? I'm an active person. You need to reinforce your actions with the identity. So then each time you take this action, each time you re reinforce it, over time, after maybe a couple months or maybe like a year, you're going to get over this belief. Finally, okay? You're gonna get over it, okay? As long as you take small steps, at least just a little small step every single day or every single week and reinforce those small steps with the right identity that you need, then you are gonna be able to get over this limiting belief. And so the more frequently you take this action, the easier it'll be for you to get over this limiting belief. The easier it'll be for you to do it the next time, okay? So don't stop now, okay? If you have some limiting beliefs, understand it. What are they? Where did they come from? What do you need to become? How do you need to identify yourself, right? Second of all, you need to take action. In order to take action, you need to break it down into small steps and make micro goals for yourself. 
don't try to expect yourself to change within a week because it does not work like that bestie and then third of all once you've taken the action you need to reinforce this action with the right identity right and then that's basically it that's basically once you do that while you keep doing that you're proving yourself wrong you know I am a social person, you know? Don't listen to this mind. I am a social person. Who said to listen? I, I have this proof. You know, I did this, I did that, I did this, I did that. I'm a social person, obviously, you know? No one can tell me I'm not social. What the heck now, man? So that's how you get over your limiting beliefs. That's basically it. So it's much more easier said than done, you know? I'm really being like really excited here, but it's really a hard process. No one said taking action was easy, but you have to do it regardless. If you really want to live the life of your dreams you really need to take action because if you don't do anything then you're just wishful thinking and your dreams will just be dreams okay bestie so if you found this video helpful consider liking or subscribing or sharing to help support the channel and i'm krisha and i will see you next week